Hey guys, here's how to get Jane's sinister smoky eye. Start with foundation primer. I'm using a green primer to counteract the red in our model's skin. Now move on to foundation. I'm using MAC Studio Tech for a full coverage with a matte finish. I'm using one or two shades lighter than what our model needs, just to give her a paled out effect. Now move on to concealer and conceal under the eyes, around the nose and around the mouth. Don't go too heavy with the concealer, but make sure you blend it out with a sponge so there's no harsh lines. Now grab your face powder in a slightly lighter colour than you'd normally use and press it into your skin to reduce shine. Using an eyelid primer is really important here as it's going to help protect the eyelids from the black shadow to make it easier to remove. Now apply a matte black eyeshadow using a bullet brush all over the lid, up to the crease. It's advisable to use a tissue here just under the eyelid just to protect yourself from fallout. Now using a fluffy brush, blend out the eyeshadow so that there's no harsh lines. Here's the important part. Grab a black eyeshadow with a bluish undertone that's got a little bit of shimmer to it and apply it all over the lid. Now grab a matte taupe eyeshadow or a light brown and just use it to define the crease of your eye. Now take the black eyeshadow under the eye as well. Try to concentrate the product darkest at the lash line and fading out into your skin. Now grab a black eyeliner and line your waterline. Use the same eyeliner to line the top lash line as well. Now use a sponge tip applicator or a q-tip just to blend out the eyeshadow on the bottom lash line and make it smoky. 
Now I use a white eyeshadow just to highlight the brow bone and blend it with the black. Time to curl your lashes and apply mascara. Innocent child in New Orleans A simple girl from simple means Walked the rails, wrote a thumb She hits the ride with everyone The regular, she'd real Now lightly fill in your brows with a blonde brow powder so that they're defined but not dark. Chopping change, chopping change Now use a blush to sculpt your cheekbones. You don't want the contour line to be too dark because Jane still looks quite baby face, but you want a little bit of definition. Now use a matte red lip pencil just to fill in the lips slightly and give a little bit of color. Now touch up the skin with concealer and you're done. But ain't it strange? The girl knew how to chop and change, chop and change. Final touches. Thanks for watching.